Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video today. And today we're going to talk about DNS Sec. And so, uh, so you may be asking, hey, what is DNS Sec? Or maybe you've heard of DNS Sec, but you don't quite know what it is. And so, I'll put DNS Sec up here. All right. So, before we talk about DNS Sec, let's um, let's just overview DNS real quick. DNS is absolutely critical, foundational to the internet today. And uh, one of the issues with DNS is it was designed like back in the 80s. So, I mean, it's been around for a long time, uh, or as technology goes, it's a long time. But it wasn't designed with security in mind. And so, let's say I'll just do a little I'll just do a little example here. Let's say you have a client who goes to um, I don't know example.com, and so you type example.com in your little address bar there in your browser, but that needs to be turned into an IP address. And as we all know, that's what DNS is all about. It turns, it turns a, uh, you know, a readable human name into an IP address that a computer can figure out and, and understand. And so it goes through this recursive lookup process. Um, well, it potentially goes through the recursive lookup look process, but let's just say for the sake of this example that it needs to do that. So it's going to go out to the root. If, uh, if it doesn't know this, it's going to go out to the root, and then it's going to go out to the .com, and then it's going to go out to the example.com and finally get back the IP address that it is looking for the entire time and then once it has that IP address it can go and access the web server and, and you're good to go. All right, so that's that's quick, very, very quick DNS uh, review. But let's say for example there's some bad guy out there and I'll draw him I'll draw him in blue. So we'll say uh, we'll say bad guy injects himself right here and he takes over control of this, let's say. And so when the IP address that comes back, let's say it was supposed to be, you know, 1.2.3.4, well, he, let's say he sends back, you know, 1.2.3.5. So that's the, wrong, that's the wrong IP address. And so now this client is gonna go out there and say, okay, well, let me access, you know, 1.2.3.5. And lo and behold, he's at the bad guy's website. The bad guy does all kinds of bad things, and then you know this guy's this guy's day is really ruined at that point. That's but this so anyway. So that's the that's the problem with DNS, and that introduces the need for DNSSEC. So what DNSSEC does is it validates uh, these different lookups or these different requests, and it says, hey, I want to make sure that when you say you are someone, that you are actually that person. And so now. When you have a DNS uh, request or a DNS response, um, then that response can be what we call DNSSEC validated or DNSSEC signed, uh, and and then that way the client knows that he's talking to the correct person. And so the way that the that the DNSSEC validation or, D, or the DNS uh, signed thing happens is uh, is by this idea of a chain of trust. So I'll put chain of trust right here. And so, just like you have the root uh, domain and then the, the top level domain and then like your domain, so it kind of goes down here. Um, what happens with this chain of trust is you have, you have the root and then you have top level domain and then you have yours, let's say example.com down here, um, .com, which this top level domain is, uh, is .com in this example. And so, what have you've got this? You've got this uh, organization out there called ICANN, uh, I C A N N, and and they've kind of taken over this, and they've said, hey, this is a big deal, and we need to make sure that all this happens correctly. And so they have they have formalized all this, and they said, hey, let's let's uh, let's sign, um, you know, these different domains so that people can then sign up underneath those, and then everyone can trust everybody. So what they did is they said, hey, they got together, and it's all these experts all over the world, get together. They said, hey, let's sign the root domain. And that thing was signed back in 2010. So I'll put 2010 there. Uh, so literally five years ago, this, the root level um, domain was signed, and it's available now for DNSSEC validation. And so now, now that this thing is signed, then, uh, then now your top level domain can say, hey, based on that signature, I can now get a certificate and a signature that I can trust. And so because I trust this guy, um, or, or this guy is trustable now, and that's kind of the anchor that holds all this together, then the top level domain can say, okay, because I trust you, then I can pull down certificates that are signed by you. 
and then it just keeps it kind of this waterfall effect. You know, the this guy can uh, can get a signature on his DNS request or, or responses based on the fact that he trusts this guy, based on the fact that this guy trusts this guy, and we all trust the root because we all trust that organization that got together that signed all that. All right, so the point is we can now have signed responses via DNSSEC um, against each of these you know, responses. So now when the client goes out and says, hey, I need to know about or I need this certain IP address, we can do that and we can have, we can have confidence that it's coming from the right person. Okay, so how does all that fit in with the big IP? Well, the big IP, uh, I'll just draw a little uh, diagram right here. Let's say you have all these DNS servers, uh, DNS, that's a bad D. Anyway, DNS servers on the back end, you have all your DNS infrastructure. What you could do is if a client uh, were to come in and request that, you could put a big IP in line here and you could, move, you could basically let this act as your authoritative DNS so that when a client comes in with a DNS request, it comes into the big IP, and then the big IP can respond on behalf of all your other DNS servers. And so it takes the load off of these guys, um, and you can configure DNSSEC, DNSSEC on your big IP. And so, which by the way, if you've ever configured DNSSEC uh, in bind, so let's say these guys have bind running back here, it is, uh, it is, as I've heard in the past, not for the faint of heart to, uh, to configure DNSSEC in bind. So if you were to have to configure that e each individual and all these DNS backend servers, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of headache that you're gonna have to go through. So move all that stuff to the big IP, let the big IP handle it. Um, the big IP, very simply, there's literally um, a couple of things. You set up your key signing key, and then there's a zone signing key that you would set up here on the, on the big IP, you configure DNSSEC on your big IP. Uh, it handles all the, all the responses. So now when a client comes in to any one of your backend servers uh, looking for that IP address that we just talked about, the big IP is now gonna send back a DNSSEC validated response to the client. The client's gonna say, hey, it's DNSSEC validated. I can, I can look at that chain of trust. I can know that it's coming from the person that I want it to come you know, from. And uh, he's happy, you're happy because you're serving up the correct IP address to all your clients. And uh, so anyway, so that's, a, that's, that's kind of the overview of DNSSEC, um, how it works, why it's important, because DNS on its own is not, a, is not inherently a secure operation, but because it is so fundamentally important to the operation of the internet today, uh, you've got to use it, you've got to make sure it works. And so, uh, so because these things are all signed, you can get out there, you can, you can provide DNS validated responses um, on behalf of your web applications to any client that comes in that wants to, that wants to uh, communicate and find out the, the right IP address. So anyway, so DNSSEC is available on the big IP. It's very simple to configure. Get out there, check it out, configure it up, offer those validated responses to all your clients. They'll be happy, you'll be happy we'll all be secure. So, uh, so thanks for tuning in today and we'll see you guys out there in the community.